Hello there everybody, welcome back once again as we are back for another episode of Darkest Dungeons taking in difficulty attempt number 5. Always a mouthful to have to say that, but you know what, I'm sticking with it. This is the best man dataless, we're going right into the Warwinds as we take on the We Must Eat Challenge to get the 3 green sacks. So we have our party of Watto, Osman, Brabov and finally Pashal. We have an interesting composition where normally we will put our vessels in the back, but I think this time around I'm going to have Waybuff be the third in line because this way we can make use of her illumination skill, which uh, gets bypasses stealth and the stealth people, as well as get that 25 dodge where, as long as we do hit, so might as well I'll be dealing with that. We have uh, Watto in the second slot because, I mean, why not, I suppose. Uh, I suppose if we are having Watto in the second slot, replacing Battle Ballad for Finale might be best here. We'll have him have Inspiring Tunes, so just in case we do use in Finale, we can, uh, we can have him at least do something at least. So we have that going for us, so I think we've all said and done. We have our party set. Let's go ahead and gather ourselves a bumper crop. Go ahead and bring a bit less food than we normally do because we are heading into the Warrens, which is normally filled with curios that will give us more foods as long as we have the medicinal herbs for it. And go ahead and bring some shovels, some holy water, and some bandages. I think we're looking good. Let's head out. With this, our next. We're basically netting ourselves for uh, the next expedition, so that way we can actually net a profit, so hopefully that will work for us. Okay, so where is the quest stuff? Okay, quest location there. So we have one there, and one there, so I suppose we'll start by, I guess, kind of going around town and... Hey, map! Uh, we don't really need to worry as much. Ah, oh, well, I mean, technically that does kind of help us with... Okay, um... So it looks like it, we might have two of the things here, or one of the things here, so... Looks like we'll be really going around town here. Let's get moving. So, and we don't... And the thing is, we don't really know with these quest locations if uh if there's gonna be a battle or not so it's gonna definitely be a bit up to the dice there uh all right good job Pashal. love to see you do your walk and go ahead and torch up okay free grain sack love to see that although i well no i think that ed the map did actually show some new some of the other battles, so I think it did. We don't need to worry about any battles showing up. Although, possibly for here, we'll probably have to worry about it. Special. Nice job. Alright. What's in. Ugh, large Corpse Eater and the Hawking Swine Tour. Neither of them. One for me, so go ahead and stop bleeding them out. So let's see. The target whistle. Okay, I think getting rid of the corpse eater is definitely gonna be best. And maybe if we can stun it? Question mark. Hey, nice. Uh. Ow, that definitely hurt. Okay, go ahead and bolster everyone, get that dodge up, so that way we can hopefully dodge the next uh, PX Spear that comes our way. Keep harvesting. And Hound Wash. Get, get this Corpse Eater out of here. Uh, go ahead and activate Retribution. Might as well use it on the Swine Tour because it doesn't do that much damage. And heal! Yup, it's going to retreat. Definitely makes killing the Corpse Eater be a bit more of the uh, target. So that way, if we can kill the Corpse Eater, it can't do its trot retreat. 
Thank you. Uh, yeah, just... I need to get rid of this large corpse before it does pig spear again. Although, I feel like it might end up doing pig spear anyways, and there's nothing we can really do about it. But, I mean, it's a thought that counts, you know? Oh boy, here we go. Oh, that bolster. Alright, go ahead and clear. Oh, really? You didn't clear out the corpse? Alright, whatever. Whistle on the Swine Tour, so that way we can lower that. Sheesh, the Swine Tour actually has a very decent protection stat. Just realized that. Uh, Yeah, go ahead and activate your Retribution again, just in case. Because he does like to slap. Like that. Alright. Uh, how, mu how much damage would this do? 17 to 31? Might as well go for it. Nice job, Otto. Okay, let's go ahead and get us some food from, uh, from this table. Now, hopefully there should be... Wait, only room battle with Kyrio? Huh. So I guess that would mean that the last object should be about there. And unfortunately, we're going to have to fight our way through. Oh, there's our quest location. Alright, torch up. Okay, corpse eaters and some other people. Alright, let's take care of this. Bashal, come on, man! Alright, uh, slice off. Alright, well, gotta bleed. Uh, I guess Dazzling Blight. There's no reason why not to, I guess. Okay, not the worst. Go ahead and activate Retribution here. Oh, and I just realized, Rato actually stacks that for a lot more rounds than I thought it would, so... Can we... nice. Uh... Yeah, no, just go ahead and stun the uh, other guy. Harvest... oh wait, no. I still had Slice Off going. Well, you know what, that's fine. Let's go ahead and clear him out. Wow, that's actually a lot of stuff. I'll happily take it. Alright. Well, let's do this. So... Target Whistle, the Outlaw, because... Decent protection, so that way we can get rid of him. So go ahead and start harvesting, so that way we can do some damage to the Blood Letter at the same time. Heal a little bit on everyone, we're way buff. Oh, come on, Wato, you're supposed to dodge that! Oh well. Yeah. Not nice. Everyone resisted the debuff, though. Go ahead and rebuff ourselves. Yeah, come on, Wato, you're supposed. You are just. Uh, you're like the second highest person with. with, uh. Oh my goodness. You're like the second highest person in terms of dodge. Alright, let's go ahead and use some slice-offs. So that, since the blood letter is the only person we can really target now. Retribution, so that way this Fusilier can't, can't keep getting away with his blanket fires. Well, I did predict that this kind of scenario could happen. And it's a good thing that we were prepared for it. So go ahead and whistle. Keep... Still need to kind of heal up everyone here. Hey, leave Vato alone! Heal up. Uh, 
Uh, go ahead and start walking down Osman's stress because who? He actually still has. He still has a lot. Uh, thank you for taking out the blood letter. No intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Okay. Uh, I mean, obviously this will give us more food. I guess we might as well. Let's go ahead and camp up. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horror. So go ahead and hounce watch. Uh go ahead and activate weapons practice. And let's go ahead and bless up our uh, bless up Osman so that way his his attacks are going to be landing true. A blazing star is born. Get ourselves a bit more food. Alright, let's keep moving. Good job, Pash. Love seeing you do your thing. We are not sticking a torch in that. Actually, I guess out of all the uh, parties that we could be sticking a torch in that, this, this one might actually be the best. But I am not sticking a torch in that. Okay, good hit. Yeah, but unfortunately, the bleed won't kill it. And it's a good thing that we gave you the fortifying garlic. So, go ahead and start harvesting. Get that bleed moving. Good dodge. Alright, go ahead and activate retribution. Might as well do it on this guy because he's already weakened. And let's go ahead and illuminate this one. Alright, nice job. Wait, wait, both. Alright, hopefully, with him being the mark, these guys will be a bit more eager to attack him. Which, I mean, so currently they are proving my point so far that they are. So that's nice at least. Ooh, Osmond! Destroy them all. Alright, let's go ahead and take care of the Marcher. And we can just simply heal everybody up because they will die by bleed. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Nice job, folks. Uh you can have the food here, Osmond, and then we can just simply since I'm not really too worried about our food situation anymore, I'm fine with leaving the medical herbs, so... So let's see, this way is to a quest location, and that way is to a quest location, so... I guess let's go ahead and get the quest locations uh, sorted out first. I mean, if any... Uh, uh, I'm thinking about it. It's sad to say, but I'm honestly thinking about sticking my torch in the uh, in the Sumner. Because oh uh, well, there's our first ghoul of the. Uh, his, well, there's our first ghoul of the uh, veteran encounters, so we're only gonna be facing more. <laughs> Uh, not gonna be enjoying that. Ooh, but nice crit there. Uh, get to finish it off. Thank you, boy buff. Yeah. Okay, I take that back. I take that back. We are not facing the freaking thing. No way, no how, no sir. Oh, actually, I do have the bandages. I forgot that I had those because there are some some, th some things in here that actually do, do require the bandages. So, all right, slice it off. Uh, bolster up, just in case he starts to try doing his cry or toss a skull at one of us. Oh, come on! Attack Osmond! Look at him, he's nice and juicy. He's stuck! 
Alright, whatever. Let's just go ahead and start taking care of this ghoul. Oh, Watto. Nice. The greater the glory. Alright, let's go ahead and heal up the bandages. And smash. Ooh, on the tapestry. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. All right, so he got. Wait, I didn't pick up the quest location item. Oh my god! <laughs> Back it up. All right. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you know what? Since we're not going to be fighting the uh, the thing, we are going to be getting rid of the torches and other stuff because we are not fighting it. No way, no how, no sir. I mean, granted, our part with our party, it's probably the most doable because most of our party can attack from most positions. Uh, you know what? Nope, nope, nope. Not happening. Not happening. We don't have a way to good way to deal with the clappers. I mean, granted, yes, Vato can deal with the clappers with his with his harvest ability, but that's only if both of them are in like the second and third slot. Which, considering that we're going to be facing up against Shambler, that's not happening. So go ahead. We are done. I am not risking it any further before my greed gets me. Pride. Oh, we are not letting our pride, we're not letting our greed get us, and god damn it, they got... Uh, Alright, fine. Uh, and our automata automatophobia. Definitely not nice. A modest offering from those few surrounding farms as yet untouched by the spreading calamity. Can someone tell me where the hell Bwato went? Well, I mean, I knew that we weren't going to be given too much stress, but... Ah, alright. Let's just go ahead and get the diseases cured up. Okay, well... Fortunately, that means I've... Well, I guess it's... That only leaves us with two vestals, so... I mean, it's not the worst case scenario, but... Not looking too bright either. Uh, And it's definitely going to take us a whole lot more stuff to before we can get what's in the guild, so... And I forgot that we still need to kill the intro with flesh. Yeah. But on the bright side, we could get another legendary bracer. I mean, those things are always handy. <sighs> I think for now, we'll just leave it at that. We have, we'll have, think about what our next expedition will be. So, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure that like button. Comment down below and hit that subscribe button because it's you guys and gals that make this channel alive. And I'll see you all next time. Bye now.